Good afternoon traders, it's Bill Baruch with Blue Line Futures and it's your Midday Market Minute. The ECB left rates unchanged as expected, but they did taper bond purchases. You'll see those bond purchase, purchases taper off in the fourth quarter and they'll be done after December and heading into 2019. Now the euro sold off about more than a penny on the session. Why? Because ultimately Mario Draghi was dovish, but more so because they don't see hiking rates until the second half of 2019. So yesterday's Fed minutes or Fed meeting uh, was hawkish statement, more dovish from Powell, and we saw the dollar sell off. We're now seeing the same sort of uh, movement here in the, in the euro. What to make of it? Right now, you can't get in the way of this. And, and ultimately, yeah, we have a lot of, we have some very strong support around 114.70 to 115.5. And, and you have to kind of be patient, see if it trades down into there. Right around 116.30, 1640, uh, there's a minor level or a key level that we've had in the past. It's testing into right now. But it's, this is, this is a, a big, reversal uh, very very weak on the chart right now same on the on the other side of it the dollar index this is a strong outside bullish reversal right now and it's probably going to look to try and head back to recent highs so be patient on the currency side of things but a strong dollar hasn't seemed to really weigh on the equity markets at the moment the Nasdaq made a new all-time high trading at above 7300 we're watching the S&P more closely, though, uh, to get a better pulse on what things are doing and why. Uh, but ultimately, the S&P really holding right around 2790. Below about 2786, we could start to see some selling. But out above 2794 or 2796, then we could see buying in a more of a melt up to the, our, our uh, rare major four-star resistance level. So watch out for that. Uh, tomorrow's quad witching. So we're going to see some volatility all around heading into the uh, end of the week. Moving on to crude oil, it did get to seven, 67 bucks. Couldn't hold it. Uh, we have a, we have a minor level uh, that we were we have in the morning express around 66, 70, 66, 90. We're back down below that. Now that's it's not a failure. It's only a failure if we get back below 65, 80. This is a nice consolidation holding against here. We can start to see um, some buyers step in maybe ahead of ahead of the uh, weekend. But ultimately, too, what's moving everything as, as well as the central banks are the trade talks. You, you, the U.S. and the White House are, are uh, talking about potentially imposing new tariffs on China today. They wouldn't announce those until tomorrow. It's going to leave a cliffhanger here heading into, the, into tomorrow's session uh, and potentially through the weekend. So that's what you got to watch for. Gold and silver are seeing nice moves. Silver got out above trendline resistance, traded above 1730. It's consolidating a bit right now. However, gold got out above major three-star resistance. Now it's back below and now staying in chart and check uh, at major three-star resistance around 1309. Watch for gold if it fails here and gets back closer to 1300. It's going to take silver with it. But for now, this is very constructive price action. We like the way things look on the metal side, especially in the face of a stronger dollar. So watch out for uh, what the dollar and gold are doing. Something's going to have to give way here. Give us a call. We're here to talk about any, anything on the board. It's a busy week. Lots going on. Again, we're here to talk about it. 312-278-0500. You can email us, info at bluelinefutures.com. Check our website for updates, and you can sign up for a free trial of our research there. But remember, futures trading involves substantial risk of loss. It's not suitable for all investors. Thank you.